with a new... So, I see you all like murder drones, huh? Hey there, everybody, Adobe Yola here. I'm about to fill your head with crazy theories on what I think will happen in Murder Drones Season 1. So, where do we begin? Well, the Murder Drones pilot released all the way back in October of last year. And after, like, 6 million views, I think 7 million now, which definitely stops over everything else Glitch has done, Liam Vickers said this about the future of Murder Drones. I will say, probably whatever you're expecting, uh, it's not that. is not, not gonna happen, and it's gonna be something <laughs> way better, and, and weirder, and- In a good way, yeah. And spookier. <laughs> it's, it's gonna get- way crazy uh and you're gonna you're gonna have to you're gonna have to sit through it <laughs> after i heard this i began to truly wonder where murder drugs could go so today i'm going to go over everything that we can expect from murder drugs season one i'm gonna start big because that's just kind of how i am i think i can predict a rough idea of where episode two will go like Pretty much the ending, at least. They set up Khan, Uzi's father, and also the death of Uzi's mother. Not only that, they also set up Thad, Thrad... Is it Thad or Thrad? They set up Thrad, the jock guy, just to get rid of him when Uzi and... and leave. Which seems odd to me. Why would they set them up? If they just have Uzi and in leave the mur, if they uh, if they just leave the base of operation, the the safe place, the doors, they leave the doors. There's also the scene where Thread's introduced, which really serves no purpose other than introducing Thread. Sure, it does do an okay job at explaining Uzi's character a little bit more. The classroom scene does an even better job at that, and is very clear in that purpose of just explaining Uzi's character to us in a quick and easy way. But then, like, what is the purpose of this scene? Why would we have it here to set up a character that's just thrown out of the series after the ending of the pilot? Like, just, to me, it makes no sense to set all of this up just to kind of throw it away the second episode 2 starts. So, I think that they're, they're gonna go back to the doors. I think that... By the end of episode 2, they're gonna realize, oh, wow, murder drones, they are incredibly scary, they are, wow, oh no, let's find a safe place, let's, let's go back to Khan, let's, uh, like, ma maybe they'll, like, take over the place and, uh, become, like, leaders or something, change from defense to offense, something like that. I, it really makes no sense to set up a threat and Khan to do nothing with them. So, I think episode 2 will have us have them re-enter the base and have them uh, use that as a safe place. Now, this next one is way more of a ass pull. Jay coming back, which uh, doesn't look likely, but in the interview... Is Jay actually died? Well, you know, <laughs> maybe, uh, not that... Uh, uh oh. Yeah, Liam Vickers really, really dodges that question. I know I said this in the last video, but he seriously dodges that question, which does lead to me believe that Jay will actually come back. Wow. Now, what they could do with this is possibly introduce V as a main character, make it a trio of Uzi and, and V. Because think about it, we set up that in likes V. How do we use that? We need to use it in a meaningful way or else we don't need that at all. It seriously just would make no sense to set that up just to throw it out in the next episode. Now here's how we tie Jay back into this. Jay could become a villain and like maybe because she got her friggin head blown off, she will be able to- she'll be like corrupted or something. So she'll just go on a murder spree of killing anyone which would cause her to fight with V, which would cause her to possibly need Uzi and N, and then J, I mean V, would uh, help help N and U Uzi. I don't, I don't know, I'm, I, this is heavy theorization here. I, I don't know what I'm saying at all. Okay, okay, this, this is the last thing. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, I didn't show this in the last piece, so I get better- I get good points for showing it off. Yay! Yay! Anyways, uh, we see they're showing off some concept art or something, 
and we see this big friggin' robot wow. thing, uh, and it's big, and it's a robot thing. Like, in, in the image, we see, like, it, it's very blurred out, and we see Uzi standing there in a place we haven't seen, lots of technology, and basically, uh, it's a robot. A big robot. I don't know what it will do, but it's a robot. Alright, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm never doing a scripted video again because clearly I don't listen to what I write. Um, uh, uh, subscribe, please. Please subscribe. That'd be nice. Thank you and goodbye.